Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are comparing Ticket to Ride Europe and Ticket to Ride Europe 15th anniversary edition. It's too big. It's, it's so big. <laughs> it's very very hugely big. So today we are taking a look at these two side by side looking at the differences, looking at what you get into it. We're going to talk about the price point and see if you should get the new edition, like either if you want it like for your collection of Ticket to Ride stuff, or if you're looking at getting a Ticket to Ride game, if this is the one you should get. So First Ticket to Ride is a big staple in the hobby. It's been here yeah. forever. And even though we might not be like the biggest fans of the game, we thought it would be really cool to take a look at this new edition and see what they have done for the 15th anniversary. Absolutely. This is a very um, usual game to get into, mm -hmm. into the hobby. It's one of the most popular gateways there it is out there. But it's also a game that is beloved by, yes. um, what do you call it, more experienced gamers as well. Mm -hmm. So this is an evergreen game for very many, very many gamers. And this is one of those games that has all always been in like the the bookshops and stuff even here in Norway where yes. we don't have many games so the covers first mm -hmm. of all uh, I like the new cover though it looks grand and uh, but it's a big box it is it is so it, it's a bit updated artwork some of these character looks a bit different than they did uh, 15 years ago let's open it up and see what's inside I'm guessing it's gonna be a rule book you want to take the lid? Yep. Thank you. So the rule books, we have rule books here in many languages because these are the Nordic languages. This is also Nordic. There's a, is this like a... Oh yeah, yeah I think there are more in the same inside, maybe. Or maybe they, we just have the Danish No, one. there was some Finnish ones as oh, yeah, well in yeah. there. And Swede and everything. So yeah, these are the rule books. Nothing beauty to add here. It's mostly the same, just using the components from the actual game. We're gonna look at one thing in here though, which you're gonna see more later, is that at the back of this rulebook you have different versions of the game, because this game comes with a lot of the additional tickets from different small expansions and some additions that we're gonna look at later, so more variability. So yeah, you can take this. Thank you. Okay, so already you can see that the board here looks a lot different than the board here. And it is also smaller. So we are gonna or open bigger, it up. You know? And we're gonna see stuff under here that we can look at soon. So let's I'm gonna open this yeah, and then we can that. put the other one on. You're not gonna see it how old because it's too big for our so big. for our camera. Okay, so let's see here. It's it's so big. This is super planned, you guys. It's so big. Oh yeah, yeah. You can look at it here. It's it's huge. It's hugely huge. Yeah. This is the board for ticket to ride. Euro 15th anniversary edition. It's so big, so no, it's not even in the frame. No. So we're gonna put it up here and then we can put the other one on top of it. Uh, you almost actually see the whole board in the video. Oh, wait uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. a second. Six fold the same, but no, this... this is upside down. Okay, oh, yeah. let's turn ba -ba -ba. it around. Ba -ba -ba. I'm turning it around. So, first off, it, they have added a lot of colors to the map. Yeah, so let's just first look at the size and look at this. And we can take it away and look at the big, big one. Yes. So, here, yeah, you see it's, it's a lot bigger, as you can see here. It has a lot of added. Yeah, so you need a bigger table. Like, if, if your table already had a problem with Ticket Ride, and as you see, let's just look at it, the, this map first. Yeah. It's just beige so this was when euros still had to be beige we like beige euros and this is the it was beige like mandatory to beige, have beige euros. euros you needed to do that yeah. even though it was ticked right it was like an introduction to board games like so you know you will get beige <laughs> that's the color you will get so here is the new board and they have added as you see it's a lot of colors and you have different buildings for a lot of different cities and it looks so beautiful i love it I like it as well. I love uh, it. I I think it's it's an it's a really nice map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see, there is different like areas. It has. It looks it's, like ticket to ride. It looks, but it looks like a map. Like it looks more like a map than the one. Like more like a living map. Like more of Google Earth map yeah, yeah. than an actual map Absolutely. of the board. Yeah. And it has uh, like Europe has has the tunnels. It has like the gameplay mechanisms there are the same as they were in the original. Yes. 
So let's Take close it, it up and let's look let's at the rest of the components because we are only beginning with the cool components here. As you can see, mm -hmm. it's a big change in the components. They both have an insert, but yes. the components in this is massively upgraded. Mm -hmm. So the player pieces are inside of these really cool tin tin cans. Tin tin tin, tin, tin cans. cans. And they look really good. And also what I really love is that they are in the native languages mm -hmm. of the the expert countries. So we have actually a Norwegian exporter. Exp exporter yeah, here. I don't know. It's not real companies. No, they no. couldn't do that. But but it was uh, really nice. It's it actually in Norwegian. It's called Askeladen. And uh, it's called Export Altamur. Which is wood. Yeah. Tamar export. Tamar oh, export. export. Yes. Yeah. So let's actually look at this. Let's see the colors are changed. So yeah. in this game you have, uh, in the original you have yellow, you have green, you have black, you have blue and you have red. Yes. And it's not the same colors here. No, it's not green. And I there's think no that green. is a great change for color division people. And there's no yellow. It's black, oh, it purple, isn't. blue, red, and brown oh. instead. Yes. Because it would be strange if the, the wood was yellow. So let's actually look at the pieces because this is what people want to see. Yes. The actual pieces. So take a few of these. You can see here. This is so the purple one. Uh, probably going to do some pictures so it's easier to see. Yes. Here you have the purple. It's focusing on me. The camera yeah. is just like obsessed with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but all of these had, there's a lot of pictures of this, but they look really, really nice uh, and different like thematics of things. So here you have, of course, the, the original. They all look the same, but in different colors. Yes. And it, these are the coolest one, I think. Yeah, the blue, the cars. It's a blue, which have two Super small cool. cars of them. I love those. Uh, yes, yeah, so they are amazing. And these, like, if you like train games, like I do, you could probably put this into other train games and then uh, make your train games looks even more amazing. Oh yeah. These are just some small, like I like them, they're the silk screen printed, a silk printed. I like uh, the old one better actually, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, these, these are just the, so, so familiar, the circles. Yes. But these Classic. are really, really nice. And other than that, like it, it's, it's, it's bigger, bigger, it's better. Yeah, let's look it's at the... It's bigger, better, not, maybe stronger, not better. faster. Let's look at the different cards. They are of course now the new cards look the new cards look like the the card cards of different colors like look like the different uh, they look yeah. a lot better basically like they're upgraded yeah. a lot and and have better artwork. Yes. Back of them, I think this is kind of tacky. It doesn't look that good. I feel like the back side of these are kind of tacky looking oh, like Oh yeah, a... like the original back side. They could like fluff this up or yeah. something to make it even more like refined, but I don't mind that either. But I feel like this looks more like a commercial for the game than a piece in the game. Oh yeah. I do not like this back side that much. Other than that, Perhaps. there's not that much left. You have all the tickets and here is where there's a big difference. Mm. Because there are... Uh, take off all the tickets that you have yeah. in that game. And... These are the tickets Wait, you get. This is not. Those are not tickets. The blue nope. ones. No. Nope. The blues are not tickets. So that's all tickets you get, and this is all tickets you get in the new editions. You that have is. all of the. You have the big cities. You have the 1912. You have a small expansion called Orient Express. You have all of these different stuff that you can mix together and get different tickets. So even you play the game a lot, you will then be able to mix it up and get different feelings for uh, the different routes. If people play it enough to be able to learn the routes, you can mix it up so that people not, don't know what routes you're gonna do. So it's a bit more, a lot more replayability basically in this box. If you show one of the tickets with the journey on it, yeah. it has some differences here as well. It's more color on the new one, but also there is a line between the stations and near the stations that you want to visit mm -hmm. is uh, like a... Um, in this one, it's colored up, yeah. Yeah, it's the, what do you call it, roots that mm -hmm. you can build is a little mm -hmm. colored up, so you can kind of see, visualize better on the map. I'm not sure if I like the line, uh -huh. or if I liked it off, because I, I kind of was a little stuck in my head that I had to go straight, oh, yeah. but that is just my brain. Which, which doesn't work. Yeah, you not can't, always. You can't go, no. go that. But, but it, some might like that, actually. Uh -huh. so, so that is like the biggest, like this, there's 
huge component upgrade. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and you have like a bit more gameplay here. Mm. So those are the actual changes. So let's talk a bit about the price and if we think like this is something you should get. Yes. Like we, I'm not going to tell you that you should go and get this because that depends on if you want it and if you have the money for it and if you feel like you need it in your collection or in your life. Yeah. So the price, what is the price for this? The price for this was about $34. Mm -hmm. I think the MSRP is like 50, like about 50 is the MSRP. Mm. And this was a uh, thousand, no, hundred. Not Sorry. a thousand, that's Not a thousand kroner, yeah. which is something different. Yeah. But yeah, the MSRP was a hundred dollars. So it was yes. like, I think it was $79.99 at Amazon. Mm. Uh, and different retailers probably are gonna have it a bit cheaper. But $99, which is an expensive game mm. for being a ticket to ride game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but there is a lot of really cool components here. So, like, there's two different things. Like, there's one if you want to buy it as a collection piece. Yeah. That's one thing. And then if you just want to get Ticket to Ride to play it. Yeah, in my opinion, if I'm getting Ticket to Ride to play it, mm -hmm. this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's a family game. It's yeah. a simple game. It's it's uh, also not, like, the longest or, or I don't know. Um, I don't need, like, a game to $100 uh, mm -hmm. no. to have fun with Ticket to Ride. That's well, true. Well, actually, I do. Um, but if you love Ticket to Ride, uh -huh. this is an absolute gem. I would have this in my collection if I love Ticket to Ride. Yeah, and uh, we haven't played Ticket to Ride in a long time. And I had a lot of fun. And it was like the pieces, of course, made it more fun to put them out on the floor. And it looks really good. And and, and I want to keep this in the collection, even though we're not, not like Ticket to Ride fans. This is something I want to bring out and play. Because oh, yeah. this looks good and in the game is of course Ticket to Ride. So if you if you hate Ticket to Ride, you're not gonna love it because of this. But Ticket to Ride is Ticket to Ride. Uh, and I I don't feel like Ticket to Ride, I agree with you, like you don't need a hundred dollar box to play Ticket to Ride. You can get this probably for twenty dollars if yes. you get it somewhere cheap or at the sale or something. But if you have the money and you Thing. Tick to Ride is something we're going to play a lot in this family. Then I, 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 and you have the space on the table for the bigger board. I like the bigger board. It, it's a bit more easy to see things, a bit more space, and the board looks better. I wouldn't go for this one, but it's not something... I'm not going to say, go out and get it, because you can get this for more than half the price. Yes, less absolutely. than half the price. So I don't think there's a lot more to add to this. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comments, and we will uh, answer them as well as we can. And that is the end of the video. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed, do it now. It's free and it's fun and makes us happy like this. If you want to do something that's not free but still fun for everyone, you can go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and support us there. That helps us out a lot. And that is the end of another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.